going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Sean Bennett 618 and I'm back with another shoe review, man. Look, I apologize to everybody that have been viewing my shoe reviews. I'm totally... I've been trying to catch up, man. November been a crazy month for the Jordan releases. There's been so many Jordans coming out left and right, so it's been hard for me to keep up with these reviews. So we got to take it all the way back to November 4th when these reimagined Royal Retro 1s dropped. And we're going to go ahead and review them. I done had them in my closet for a couple weeks now. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get into it now. But before we do that, y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like. And make sure y'all tap that notification bell so y'all don't miss out on any more shoe reviews that I drop. I'm going to go ahead and get back consistent on this because I'm backed up on like three or four shoes. But let's go ahead and get to this video. <laughs> Right, so when I seen them about to drop, I thought they was coming out with the original retro ones again. Man, I'm like, I'm not missing these, but I seen they said reimagine, right? So, um, basically, they remix we're gonna call it a remix, they remixing the shoes from back in the day, um, and putting a little twist on it. But these in particular, they went ahead and dropped the suede on the all black and blue retro ones, uh, OG style, man. It looks beautiful. Let's just go ahead and get straight into this video. I don't want to hold y'all up any longer. Um, these shoes released November 4th and they dropped for $180. I ended up getting them early on the shock drop. So like I said, I've had these shoes for a while. I just haven't did the really, uh, review for them yet. But incredible shoe. Uh, I've seen them in stores. It's crazy these shoes are still sitting in stores. I just left them all today. And these shoes are still sitting on the shelves. So you can tell either people ain't really got the funds right now for the month of November to collect all these mics. Or people just not feeling it, you know what I'm saying? Grabbing them like how they used to grab them. Uh, but I thought this was a great shoe. Can't wait to wear it. Can't wait to show y'all. Now, like I said, this is a fresh box. The box is crazy. Uh, they haven't really been putting too much effort in these boxes lately. But I can say the reimagine box for these is pretty hard. You just got the basic black. But that like, uh, I want to call that like a... Oh, man. That, that blue right there looks good. Like... It looked like a sticker, but it's like shiny, like a metallic type. And then you got the foot right here. All the Nike swoops all through the retro one box. They went hard on the box, so I'll give them that. Y'all ready to look at them? Let's go ahead and look at them. I got them right there on the screen, I forgot. Them. But yeah. So, initially, when you open the box, simple little box. You know what I'm saying? Got the paper. Y'all know I hate this paper. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And like I said, I. I haven't even opened these yet enough to even look at them. I haven't even touched them. Uh, been getting too many shoes in November. But man, yeah, they, they, whew. this is as close as you're gonna get into them OG pair. This is as close as we're gonna get. But these are some nice pair of retro ones. The retro ones, my bad. But, uh, I'm a retro one head, basically. Uh, been like a retro one since high school. I remember when people would talking about me because I had retro ones and back then everything was uh, Air Force Ones. So everything Air Force Ones was popular. Retro Ones was not it. They treated these like they was fake. If people don't understand. Fast forward almost 20 years later, the world loves Retro Ones. Yeah, that's how that goes. But yep, we got the Retro Ones. I haven't laced them yet. Like I said, I just bust these joints up. You're gonna see a lot of my reviews they fresh out the box. So I haven't even had the chance to put them on feet, do a on feet review, anything. But the retro ones, uh, the beautiful suede on them. Like I said, I like the suede. I really do like the suede. It was different. So when they said to reimagine, they remixed the hell out of these shoes. And I like the suede on these shoes. It's real good. Uh, the material feels great. And like I said, it was only $180. So you couldn't, I mean, this was a steal, and it, you can still go in the mall and get these. So if it's a shoe that you look you interested in getting, you can go up there and get it right now at the mall. And I tell people now, these is ones that came out in November. I wouldn't sleep on and let them sit up there too long. I would go ahead and go grab a pair uh, because once these gone, I guarantee you two, three years from now, the price is gonna be crazy on these. Uh, 
and any other shoe that's going to be reimagined in the future. So I tell people, try to double up. I might double up on these. You know what I'm telling you? Yeah. But I got my pair. Uh, it's suede all throughout the shoes. The midsoles, completely suede. Everything suede. You got the blue suede Nike swoop. Uh, bottom blue. I think these would have looked hard if they would have went ahead and did like the off-white. You know what I'm saying? I think the off-white would look cold. But other than that, I think it's a dope shoe. It looks good to me. Um, I feel like, like I said, a lot of people overlook this shoe because it came out right after the Cherry 12s. So I think people pockets was a little tapped out and then so much more other shoes coming out this month. But like I said, if you still want these shoes, they are still in stores. You, st you still can get it online. They are available. Make sure you get it because in person, these shoes look so good in person. So make sure you tap in and get them, man. But other than that, this, I would say go ahead and do a shoestring swap with these. I would throw the blue in there. It came with the blue shoestrings. I would do the blue. Just because I know that blue is going to pop. And I might do an old shoe review. I want to start doing those on my channel as well. Uh, let y'all see me when I pop out with these shoes with my fits and stuff like that. I be actually putting that shit on. These niggas on YouTube, they don't be putting that shit on. I be putting that shit on. So I need to start doing more on shoe, on foot reviews uh, for the channel. So be on the lookout for those. But other than that, like I said, I would definitely sh shoe straight swap these with the blue ones. Uh, I think the blue ones will look crazy good. Uh, it'd be dope if they came with a white pair, but if there's been so many retro ones coming out, I'm pretty sure you got a pair of white shoe strings for the retro one somewhere in your closet. But the blue ones will do. The blue ones will do. I think that'd be a good shoe string swap. But yeah, these is hard. I like them. I think they should drop, instead of the satin ones, I think they should have did a reimagine with the suede on the red ones. Me personally, I would have did that. The satin ones, they, it was just too female looking. But if they would have did all suede on those black and red ones, oh man, that would have been crazy. Now, also, I went ahead, I do have the uh, Gratitude 11s. I do have those that we will be doing a review on next. And uh, I went ahead and grabbed the Week 13s, which uh, it's a lot of shoes uh, been coming out this month that has been sitting on shelves. So I don't know what's going on with that. But me personally, I feel like um, it's good for the people that's the real OG sneakerhead that uh, understand the shoes that's been coming out. A lot of people have been seeing some of the shoes, like for instance, the Week 13s, they seeing those right now and they're not really jumping on top of those because they don't know the history. They don't know the history behind the Week 13s. It only came out one time and that was in 2004, but we're gonna get into that one on the next review. But right now, the Reimagine 4s are out right now. If you ain't got your pair, go get them. Um, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel too as well, man. Subscribe to the channel. Drop something in the comments. Let me know that you're watching. Let me know if you cop these or not. If you, you know, if you already cop them, like I said, I already know these been out since the fourth of November, and we are now on the twenty-first of November. I understand that, but I didn't get the chance to put the review out on them. But I'm catching up right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out all these videos for you guys, so you guys can see all the releases for the rest of this month, uh, and then uh, anything else I got in the future. I'm gonna make sure I'm on top of these videos as soon as I get them. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna make sure y'all see these videos, man. That's my fault. But I appreciate if y'all subscribe to the channel, comment below, let me know if you rocking with these. Is it a cop? Is it a drop? What do you think it is? You know what I'm saying? Flame. I'm giving these nothing but flames. These is flames. They're gonna look good when you put them on with the right outfit. Um, and even in the summertime, when summer come back around, because I'm not gonna wear these until like maybe spring or something like that. So when these bust back out, you gotta look out. Other than that, man, you already know who it is. It's your boy, Sean Vinny 618 Nothing but great content will be produced on this channel, man. So make sure y'all stay tuned and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. And I'm out. I gotta go. Bye. I gotta hear.